Josh, where's where's the campsite? It's coming up just ahead over there. Are you scared of the dark? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But I'm with my friends. I'm okay. <laughs> Field of Geeks presents The Super Super Unknown I'm Josh. I'm Juan. I'm Steph. I am Dennis. Uh, tell us about yourself. And All right, my name is Dennis McCullough. I am with the Des Moines New Age Shop and Community Center here in Des Moines at 6307 Hickman Road. <coughs> at, you know, zip code 50322. Yeah, I know that's the Urbandale zip code, but it's still in Des Moines. Sure. Um, <laughs> Des Moines New Age Shop is all about um, trying to build a community. Um, trying to, we only want to put out good stuff in the community, which we have ever, you know, if anybody knows, like the laws of karma, laws of magic or whatever you put out you basically if you put out negative energy you'll get that back 10 times if you put out positive energy you'll get it back three times you know not much of a <laughs> you that's <know>. not fair <laughs> well no actually it very much is fair <laughs> and so because if i'm if i was to go out there and you know put a curse on your podcast and say you know booga booga yeah, I, I don't. I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody's actually said that when casting any kind of a curse. <laughs> <laughs> but booga booga, your podcast is going to go under, right? You know, which would be difficult if you're even paying to do the podcast. Right, yeah. You know? right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm losing all my sponsors. Dang it. Yeah, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, is this a PG? Is this a? It's explicit. So you- oh fuck yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're fine. <laughs> That's- no holding back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, the kids don't listen to it, so we're good. <laughs> well, uh, at least you hope not. <laughs> well, our <laughs> kids don't listen to it. So- oh, that's right. good. <laughs> if your kids start telling you exactly what happened at the end of Game of Thrones, you might have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what what is your origin tale? What brought you to this? My origin. <clears throat> let simply put. I, I grew up going to church, and I still actually have fond memories of going to that church. I l- still love my church going brethren and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Basically, I was in the Navy at the time. Um, I got my first tarot card reading while I was in the Navy down in Florida. Um, and then I suddenly got fascinated with tarot cards. Um, and then I went and picked up my own deck about a year and a half later at that point because I was in Florida when I first got the card my cards read i then ended up in washington state on board of an aircraft carrier you know um uss abraham lincoln you know wow yeah that, that thing was big uh anyways Kidding. Jeez. um and then uh yeah it, in fact i even remember where i remember exactly where i got the deck i don't remember the exact date i know it was close to springtime because i wasn't wearing a jacket which that doesn't mean much in Washington State. You can still, we'll still be wearing a jacket in July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it gets cold up there. <laughs> wow. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But it was, it was a place called the Secret Garden in the Everett Mall up in Everett, Washington. Um, I picked up the deck. I picked up the box to go with it. I picked up even a cloth, which I lost the cloth years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I was actually going to buy a completely different deck from the one I've got here. Um, and I even had the, I had the deck selected. Yeah, that's great for podcasts, making random noises. That's, it's fine. It's <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> um, but no, I had the deck uh, I had the deck out, or the deck I was originally going to buy. I had it on the counter. I even had the money out to pay for it. And then I spotted this one out of the corner of my eye, and, and that's the one I ended up going home with. And here we are 21 years later. I'm still It was like a calling. Like, yeah. The same yeah. deck from. So, this, yeah, this is the only deck I've ever bought for myself. And the only is that the only one you've ever used then? Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's. I mean, there's some cards in here that have actually got been ripped, where I say some. There's two of them that have been ripped. One of them I actually had to tape back together. Yeah, <laughs> so, I was asked you to tape them together if it runs out. It yeah, I, I had to. I mean, you can't just. You can't I, replace any of them. Yeah, right? well, but the car, the deck was out of print when it happened, so mm. the next closest thing, I mean, I could still find it online, but I couldn't find it for less than two hundred dollars. Like, whoa, come on, guys! Yeah. I'm, <laughs> does it you know? does it lose its 
power, if you will, if one's missing or damaged, it's it's really if it well. And simply put, you don't play poker without a full deck. Right, sure. Right. Okay. So right. they're yeah. just card. I mean, they're more than that, obviously. But well, yeah, you can use. Simply put, you don't. Yeah, you don't play without the full deck. And if, had I lost one of the cards in here, I would have had to replace it. Mm. And so simply, just the card, not the whole deck. Right? Oh no, you more than likely yeah. have to replace the whole deck. Oh, okay. It'd probably be difficult to find just one card. Oh, because they wouldn't match. Yeah. Okay. It's like and you know, it's like replacing your kidney with someone else's kidney. You know, the, sure. mm. the body might it's reject not it. Work the same way. Sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't know if that's the appropriate analogy there. But, <laughs> right. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. work the same way though. I mean, it probably would. It just simply. Simply put, it's it it's not the same. Yeah, it's like having a Makes set sense. of you know a de- two decks of cards, one blue, one red. You lose one of the red cards, so you replace it with the blue card. You're always going to know which card that is. Right. Yeah. Sure. Right. Yep. Sure. But then again, same reason why you know the justice card in my card in my deck. So that's the one that's taped up. That's the one that. Um, yeah, the justice card is the one that I know it's coming. I, I could see it coming from a mile away. If it's going to be popping up in a reading, well. Let's see what you know. Let's see what the context is of this of the card coming in. Sure. So. Interesting. Well, to educate us, like what what are uh, tarot cards? Well, they're cards. But like, well, they for have, the audience, because like, for the audience, just mean? tell them what tarot is. I guess. Okay. Yeah, like I don't understand. Well, and that's it, you're there. You're going into a long history of tarot, which it's not ancient Egypt. Some people will tell you it's from ancient Egypt. It's not. Um, it was. It originated as a game played by the Italian and French nobility back in like the 1600s. Gotcha. Like playing spades or hearts, mm-hmm. like a game I've never been good at. Well, spades, I, I love spades. <laughs> yeah, and I get my ass handed to me every time I play spades. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like I never guess the right amount of sure books I get, mm-hmm. or you know plenty of times where I was like I think I'm only going to get two come to find out I got eight it's like that <laughs> you know anyways but yeah no and the the modern the modern iteration of tarot believe it or not it's actually very new really um, I mean people were you first started you people first started using tarot cards as like a divination system you know trying to find answers out in the ether sure. a lot of people do it through prayer some will you know, do it through animal sacrifice. I hope not. Um, right, of course. Yeah. Other, I mean, it's like I say animal sacrifice because that's what the Spartans were doing at, at the on the beach of Thermopylae at the beginning of each day. They sacrificed a goat to the god Ares, you know, and to see how the battle was going to go. Sure. On the fifth day, the you know the sacrifice said, "No, no, you're done. Right. <laughs> it's over. It's done." And but they still went out there and they all fought and they all died. Sure. You know, that's it. I'm getting off topic here. <laughs> no, you're fine. The great, fine. The, the story no. of the greatest, the the greatest long, I mean, basically, that's the Age of Worlds Alamo. Okay. Understood. Better, yeah. That's a better way to put that. You know, it's still, it's ultimately still a defeat for the Greeks, but sure. they left their mark. Right. And so, um, where was I? <laughs> Just tarot, like kind of the history of it, but right. Well, like, um, like how I first come uh, became aware of it through it was through entertainment. Uh, Live and right. Let Die, uh, James Bond, right? Um, Roger Moore, uh, Jane mm-hmm. Seymour played a reader, and okay, uh, that's, that's the first time I ever got an introduction. I've to never it. been a huge Bond fan. That's just <laughs> not even that movie. Well, no, the, no, that's no. the one with the Baron Sondi in it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Gregory yeah. Holder. Yes. Yeah. So. No. I, I've never been a huge James Bond fan. I'll give him respect, right. but I've. <laughs> but from what I got from it was it was it was uh, the reading was about a person's destiny, if you will. Is that kind of? It can be. Sure. It also it can be many things. It can be many things. More often than not, it's you know people dealing with their own personal problems. Sure. Current current events. Cur- yeah. Mostly current events, yes, mm-hmm. and it's oftentimes so many. It's like you know, the, honestly, this is what's going to happen. And here are other steps you need to take to avoid it, or you can, or if you don't avoid it, here's what's going to happen. The choice is up to you. Ultimately, we don't tell people what to do. We simply say, hey, if you want to be happier, you should probably do this. Sure. Or, you know, or if you, I mean, if you have to eat shit, take big bites. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, right. Um, 
as I've I've had readings like that before where people you know it's like I'm sorry this is not good you're not in a good situation you know why why are you sticking why are you sticking this out if you know what's if you already know it's a bad situation why are you still in it you know stuff like that so it's like basically like it's More up, off, up to them uh, to adjust their decision making on certain things and yes. then they can write their path right pretty much and then you like have you had many come in like after you've told them that and they've they come back and it's been a better reading like they've they turned it around or it's they, not changed <laughs> Simply put, if they come back, they did not take the advice that was given in the first place. Oh, so that's what brings them basically is there yeah. is something not right. Right. So but if everything was going well, then. it's Yeah, generally there are two types of people that come in for a reading. Those who are trying to find answers and those that are curious. Gotcha. And so. Understood. Understood. Just like um, the gentleman, you know, whose office we're sitting in. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if I can say his name on the air. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, he's one Dave. of the. He's, yeah. okay. he's, he's one, one of the hosts. He's one of us. <laughs> sort of. Fair enough. Okay, so Dave, <laughs> he asked me if I'd give him a reading, and I just did. You know, I'm not going to tell you what was in the reading. Right, right. But he was, he was one of those that he was ultimately, he was curious as to what it would be like. Mm-hmm. Sure. And there are others that it's like, oh, my God, I've been to all these different psychics, and none of them are right. Could you help me out here? And nine times out of ten, it's like, well, if they're not right, I'm not going to be right either, man. Mm, sure, <laughs> you know? sure. Because more than likely what happens is you end up telling them the same thing that the other nine said. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you're all a bunch of frauds. Well, sorry you feel that way. Right. right. That'll be 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> so so what, what's the process of a reading? Like, what do you do? How do people ask you questions? Or do you ask people questions? What? Well... What? Why don't you come over here? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to do that. Go for it. Well, you you open that Pandora's box. I have a quick question before you start with her on that. I have a little experience with tarot. I don't have thirty dollars. I'm just going to tell you. Tarot, you're right on air. <laughs> tarot readings, but what's the difference between tarot cards and oracle cards? That's a good question, actually. Tarot cards are a set system. Always going to have seventy-eight cards. They're always going to have what? I'm sorry. Seventy-eight cards. Okay. Twenty-two major arcana, and then. 54. What, what do you mean 50, by arcana? Sorry, 56. Oh. I'll sh- <laughs> okay, as long as like, you don't this is minor arcana. Card. Okay, minor arcana. Oh, God, trust me. There are far worse cards than the death card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is minor arcana. Uh, and then major arcana. Basically, the, the minor arcana basically go through the day-to-day. I don't okay. know, I'm showing you the hanged one. That's, you know. So that's the hanged man? The hanged one, yes. Okay. Not necessarily the nicest card to pull in a deck definitely mm-hmm. and trust me death is not the worst one that you could possibly pull in a no deck. I, I haven't gathered that like I there I watch far, a few of them and I try to pick it up a little bit like so I try to understand how it works but yeah death card is not what you think is it mainly just like hey stop smoking it's gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was that easy <laughs> yeah, like, there, there are cards that there is there are cards that are deal with addiction and stuff like you, that yeah just watch hers it's not it's not it's not what you think it is it's, it's yeah. pretty cool take three cards <clears throat> from anywhere yeah for, well preferably from this deck well I mean like from <laughs> any point of the deck just yeah take three yeah, and leave sorry. them face down is this your card sure okay <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no these are yeah oh oh well, they are aren't they okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I am not a magician. I do not have the dexterity to be a magician. I just don't. So we have so, enough space here for everything. Yeah, there's more than work. enough here. Okay. So this is the. This here is the first one that you flipped. Okay. Three of Swords, Princess of Cups, Ace of Cups. Well, I mean, you. you if you were confused before this, you're, you're going to be confused afterwards, too. Does that mean we're going to make millions? Oh, God, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, if anything, this one here indicates... Um, this. The Three of Swords indicates temporary separation to try and make a name for yourself. Now, whether... I don't necessarily know if that's relationship-wise or anything like that, <laughs> but this is definitely... The Three of Swords, that's ultimately what it deals with. So some kind of separation? Well, you already know what's, got, you already know what's going on. The Prince, of, the Prince of Swords, you know what's going on. You know what you're going to have to do. You know everything you have at your disposal, and you know how to use it properly. Okay. So whatever's, whatever, this, whatever separation this is indicating, you'll be fine. Okay. 
Um, this one here indicates some uh, Prince, princess of cups, princess and these cups. these here about say this, these two cards mostly deal with thought. These two cards are going to be dealing with feelings. Princess of cups, uh, the, the re cups yeah, reversed, yeah, uh, feelings, water signs. Water, yes, yeah. yes. Good job, Juan. I'm trying to learn it. I want to. <laughs> I want to teach myself one day. <laughs> Anyways, so. Yeah, Princess of Cups. This is what this is a card that actually confuses me still after 21 years. <laughs> so, bear with. Yeah, I. That's the encyclopedia a reason, comes out. It's the booklet for the deck. Actually, <laughs> there's a reason why you keep that. So this one means there's some sort of separation, but it's temporary. And I'm a, prepared to handle it. Yes, you're perfectly okay. prepared to handle I'm that. I'm not sure what it is, but <laughs> that's good that I'm prepared. This is somebody. This indicates someone who. Princess of Cups reversed. That's the other thing. These three cards oh, are all reversed. because they're facing away from me? Yes. Okay. And so Princess of Cups reversed is somebody who uses their um, emotional, they use their emotions to actually entrap and ensnare and enslave others. Oh. So I'm doing that to somebody or they are doing that to it me? Could be, it could be either, either way. way. Okay. Uh, it's simply put, you'll notice I've not asked you exactly what the situation is. I, okay. And so... See, and this is this here is somebody who um, essentially is learning a new trade. Ultimately, that's what this card here indicates: somebody learning a new trade. And so, like, I just started a new job, probably I don't know six, four months ago, mm -hmm. and I'm if there's a lot of learning with it. Right. I mean, this could be so the, this could be, could be linked your, to that. Could be the person training you. You know, I've got to hope they don't have feelings for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> They're all women, so that could be a... <laughs> it's still Ooh, possible. <laughs> no, that's still possible, It could sweetie. make it a... <laughs> um, the, and then this is present. Okay. Going into the future, though, um, as far as... This basically, if there's ever... Most of the aces don't actually have a reverse. You got the one that does. Okay. <laughs> um, the ace of cups, basically, it's confusing time. Um, the, you're not sure exactly how you're feeling, or it's basically emotions are all muddied up in some, you know, whatever. And there's not much you can do if that one doesn't have a reverse. There's not much you'll be able to do about it. You're just simply going to have to see it through to the end. Um, two of, Ace of Cups basically means confusion, um, emotional confusion, you know, not necessarily sure what's happening, what's going on. Um, and the two of swords, basically, you'll notice how this has she's sitting in the she's sitting there in the center, and there's a sword on each side of her. All right, basically indicating that anything, pretty much once we get to this point, there's nothing more you can do. You're just going to have to sit there and grin and bear it. Mm -hmm. It could be good, it could be bad. It doesn't really indicate what it is. It just simply puts simply. Your nothing you do will affect the outcome. Is the best way to put it with the two of swords. Okay. Nothing you do will uh, change the outcome of what's coming. It's just simply going it's just to. It's gonna happen. You're and you're just gonna have to let it happen. Okay. Very so, interesting. Ah, okay. That's a major arcana. And so, but whatever happens, you will come out on top. Yay! All right. <laughs> so, it might not look like it at the time. <laughs> Truth be told, it's hard, and that's one thing. Cards are tarot cards are not nothing set in stone, especially with the future. You can still fuck this up. <laughs> you know? You know? Gee, You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I mean, that is a possibility. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, but yeah, I I do readings like this all the time at the uh, at the Des Moines New Age shop. Okay. I say all the time. I do need a day off once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'm scheduled for one in like three weeks. Awesome. So they just call you up and uh, schedule it, or walk-ins welcome. I I take walk-ins all the all time. Right. How often do you do uh, readings per day? Um, today was the most I've done in a while. With her, that makes now seven I've done I mean, today. I mean at the shop, I'm sorry. I, I did five at the shop earlier today. Oh, okay. You so. might do a lot tonight. I might. Hopefully, right? <laughs> yeah, let's hope. Ooh, ooh do me. <laughs> oh, yes. I am married, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Good darn. One. Your backside is mm -hmm. going to be free tonight. <laughs> Whoa. 
That bad is, man. That goes with something else. <laughs> no, I was, actually, I was actually showing my hood. Like, what, what was the what was that conversation we had? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, probing. He likes probing, right? Oh, <laughs> our last show. Oh, our last show. Oh, my. Yeah, the, that was the show of my brother. Show we well, I mean, as long as you're not doing any space docking, I think you'll be fine. No docking. <laughs> so no, this is no essentially a, like what it consists yeah. of. Awesome. Yes. That's interesting. That is very cool. Very cool. Well, honey, I don't plan on uh, splitting up with you, so as long as you don't leave me, we're good here. Well, there's nothing in here that indicates you would. Good, good, good. It's just, yeah. A separation. Temporary separation. That doesn't yeah. necessarily. Yeah, I mean, you might have to go on a trip to for training oh, or something. Oh, we are like going that. somewhere. Yeah, but we won't be separate. No, well, our house will be separate from our children. Oh. Oh. Well then. Maybe that. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't say it didn't say anything about your relationship to your husband. <laughs> you know? sure it just said that you know temporary separation. And so, no, oh yeah, no. you might have noticed I've. Yeah, I've got a magic card I've had in the in the box since two thousand three. Oh wow! Yeah, I was looking at it, but I didn't want to. Yeah, it's the totem stuff. speaker. Elf druid cost one green and four colorless. Whenever a beast comes into play, you may gain three life. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. So oh, yeah, it's it's with all the with the you know with the power creep that's happened with magic cards over the years, mm -hmm. there is no way that card would be. I mean, it's somewhat viable now, but man. It cost five. It cost five for. I think that was like a three four, mm -hmm. maybe a two three. I have not actually taken a look at its power and toughness all these years. I've. No, oh, it's, it's a three three for five. So yeah, it's a lot of people might skip that over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Has there ever been a, a just something that sticks out that uh, was a a very interesting experience reading somebody? Um, as far as reading other people. I had a lady in the shop last year. She was getting ready. She was less than a month from getting married. Mm -hmm. And, well, she uh, she got the tower. When I said there's worse cards to get, the tower is one of them. All right. That's actually the first card I thought of when you said there's yeah, worse cards. Yeah, to the tower is, far, is a far worse card to get than death. Okay. <laughs> death just means an ending. Um, the tower means a sudden change. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, sudden change, bend over, grab your ankles. Mm. You know, it's coming, whether you're prepared for it or not. And generally with the tower, you're not prepared for it. So, so like like a tower in reverse, how does that work? Well, a reverse tower? Um, it means you just came out of it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. A reverse tower, basically... Uh, tower uh, forward tower. I'm just going to call it forward. Okay. Uh, basically, means your sudden change. All right, you might be able to handle it better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reverse tower. We're going in dry. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Reverse tower. They're going in dry oh, and man. just bend over. Hits the word probe. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Good to know. You're welcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no. no, yeah, it's like I said, we, we do readings at the shop. Um, for, we also do energy cleanses, and we oftentimes end up dealing with, you know, people come in with attachments or stuff like negative entities mm -hmm. attached to them. Um, sadly, oftentimes, a lot of the time, mental illness can be explained with negative entity attachments mm -hmm. because there's so many different entity entities out there. That's one reason why I don't go on ghost hunts. I, sure. I just don't do it. You are, you have no idea what you're messing with there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same wow. reason why, um, and I will tell you, this is a this is a standard position of the Des Moines New Age shop. I'm going to look at all three of you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any, looking at you specifically for some reason. <laughs> don't fuck with Ouija boards. Oh, don't you worry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. But I looked over you for some reason, so... so uh, when <laughs> I was a kid, we played played with the ones that you can buy at Target or wherever. Yeah, you know? and, and that's uh, the thing. That's another history of yeah. tarot. The only way you can find a tarot deck back in the 70s was they would sell... You go get them at KV Toys or yeah. Toys R Us. They right. were, yeah. they were freaking toys. Same thing with the Ouija board now. It's a... You it's know, a they, toy. They sell right? it yeah. as a toy. Well, it, I was always but told that it's more like a, it's like making a phone call and you don't know who you're calling. Yeah. 
Yeah. You yeah, don't know who you're letting in. Yeah, like, I'm saying yeah. energy wise, yeah. like yeah. you don't yeah, know energy, who the heck yeah. you're calling. And you, <laughs> you might call the wrong number. Yeah. And my wife described <laughs> it basically because what you're doing is you're opening a portal through the veil. Mm. And we're, I mean, this is October. Mm. Um, and if there's one thing, October, I mean, well, there's a reason why we celebrate, celebrate Halloween this time of year. Mm. Right. The veil of, between the spiritual and the physical world is actually thinning this time mm. of year. And so in, it is the thinnest this time of year. Um, the other time of year where it is the thinnest is actually late April. Hmm. Really? Is, that, is that the beginning and ending of like the solstice? Like winter solstice? When does that kick? Equinoxes. Equinoxes. Actually. Okay. Right around the equinoxes. And no, it's actually midway between the equinoxes. Okay. And so between, yeah. halfway between the equinoxes and the solstices. Okay. You know, end of April for Beltane, which a friend of mine who she has her own coven up in, mm -hmm. up in Nevada, Iowa. Um, I always was like, so do I need to get you a Beltane lighter or something like that? <laughs> 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 Though, ironically enough, over in, over in Scotland, the Beltane Festival is literally a festival of fire. Oh, yeah, you can find pictures of it online. It is fascinating to, fascinating to look at people dancing naked with fire. I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ouch! Yeah. Damn dirty scots. <laughs> and again, do not mess with Ouija boards. There's a reason why I mentioned it. Ouija boards, it's like having a it's like having an apartment in downtown Chicago and then leaving the door unlocked. Mm. You don't know what's coming exactly. through there. People and whatever spirits you're conversing with on the other side, they are not bound to tell you the truth. Sure. Right. I don't know where people got that idea. Bingo. They don't have to tell you the truth. And especially dealing with all kinds of weird creepy shit out there i know too many people uh, they will make bargains with you and you have to keep up your end of it mm -hmm. i know too many people in this community that have lost children wait they people make bargains through a ouija board and you have to keep it whatever deal you, you made you made yeah you have to really yeah, yes they, they don't have to tell you they don't yeah not people they can tell you what they want <laughs> basically uh -huh. yeah no there's it simply it can it can be bad <laughs> sorry there was just a giant clown that walked that was a giant oh, clown oh I thought it was the flash <laughs> it's kind of cool I thought it was the flash oh, well. <laughs> anyways yeah Des Moines New Age Shopping Community Center we will help we will help clear attachments and stuff like that um, as I mentioned a lot of times mental illness can be you can actually help a lot of people's mental illnesses or a lot of mental illnesses can be explained when dealing with attachments. You know, like if they're an entity that eats that eats depression. Sure. Keeping you depressed keeps it fed. Right. Mm. You know. Absolutely. Entities that, you know, feed off of rage. Right. You know, attach somebody, they're always angry for some reason. Sure. And they're just, they just seem like a, a, an angry person. Well, that's because there's something on there keeping them fucking pissed off all the time. <laughs> right. 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 So if anyone's made bargains with Ouija boards, can they come to you? Is that something you Yes, will that is something do? we actually okay. will help with. Um, so many times people come to the shop. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, we have, a, we have a Ouija board. It had, in fact, this past summer, uh, we, had, we were connect, we were contacted, we were <clears> making contact with a Ouija board. I'm like, okay, where's the Ouija board now? Because she's got two little kids. I mean, uh, when I say little, they're babies. Yes. You know, and they're screaming at night because there's... Something's you know, scaring them. Yeah, there's something scaring them. And so I like to so get rid of the Ouija board. They're like, well, we have to use it again tonight. No, you don't fucking have to use it tonight. <laughs> get rid of it. Yes. Get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Go fucking bury it in salt out in the yard. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if they did. They haven't been back. <laughs> so. <laughs> can you burn it or do you have to bury it? You bury it. You bury it. You can. If burn it I, and bury the ashes, perhaps? Or no? I Actually, from what I've been told, you don't want to burn it because then you just permanently open the pool. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Cancel that. <laughs> yeah, I don't do. You bury it in your yard with salts. That will keep it. That will close it. Salt is like crystals. Yeah. Well, salt like gets rid of evil, right? Is what well, they say. Well, salt is yes. crystals. It's just another form of crystal. Oh. Well, to and, simplify it. But yeah, and simply salt is also one of the easier things to get a hold of. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah. That what kind of crystal was in there, if you don't mind me asking? This is a white selenite. I, I can answer more questions, guys. <laughs> it's a white selenite. I know. I Thank can you. go on and on because it's so fascinating to me. Oh, oh, yeah. White selenite. It's an energetic power wash. It'll clear away all negative energy 
Yeah, I already feel better when I grabbed it. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Uh, well, so I'm not f- trying to be like a negative. I'm just. No, really? you can feel no, like cer- certain, yeah, certain crystals. I just like feel like it's so negative. No, I just. Like, how does it make certain, you? Certain crystals have like a certain vibration to it. Like I use a lot of terpaline and stuff like that. Tourmaline. Like, tur- tur- tourmaline. Yeah, tourmaline. I, always, I, I thought I heard a P in there. I was like, tourmaline? Oh, <laughs> no tourmaline. P. It's a new element. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I use yeah. a lot of that. And just Thank like you. standard crystal and stuff yeah, like mind? that. No, go for it. Like yeah, quartz sorry, crystal. To... You, you're fine. It's simply, really cool. simply put, white selenite, it's an energetic power wash. Okay. Like a cat, it also cleans itself. Okay. You really? Trust me. Black, you know, White selenite goes a long way. Sure. And then... Um, also, like a cat, though, you don't oh, want to get cool. it wet. It okay. will break apart. Oh. And so. So interesting. Does it lose its power, if you will, if you get it wet? Or it's, well, just, it's just about keeping it. If it, it does break apart, it, you have to get a new one? Is yeah, it? pretty much. You'll have to get, if it completely dissolves and everything like that, it's one of those things, as, as I explain to people, where you break it down. I never realize this looks like the shape. It's like shape like Wisconsin. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's like a body of land. I mean, yeah. Um, it did look like it had some shape you, to it. When you break a stone down to the molecular level, right, um, each molecule puts out its own energy, which, it, you know, science will tell you that yeah. much is true. Um, bigger the stone, the more molecules that are in it, the more power it puts out. More than likely, whatever solenite survives getting wet is still good. It's just not going to be as strong as it would have been as one whole piece. Sure. What would you say to somebody who's who believes they're a Christian and they believe in God and whatnot, and they feel like you can't have both together? You can't believe in crystals and um, tarot readings and um, what's that thing? Your horoscope. You can't believe in all of that. I don't know if that's related to this or not. And oh, God no, no, time. it is. You're connected. Is oh, it is connected. Horoscopes, right, are connected too. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I, I, so, at least I, I, like, what's your date of birth? September. I'm a Virgo. September 5th, 1982. Okay. So, wow, well, you're actually, you're, that's my wedding anniversary. Not, not, not 1982. September but, 5th? Well, it's yeah, a good you're, Yeah. <laughs> you are a Virgo dog. Okay. In the Chinese zodiac, you're a water dog. Okay. So... Hubby? September 9th. 1981. Yep. Okay. So you are a Virgo cock. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You called me that before. Haven't you? No. Yeah. You well, will now. <laughs> you will now. Yeah, you're, it's you're not back a, like that. You're a double Virgo, <laughs> ultimately. Virgo and rooster in the Chinese zodiac actually are the same thing. And so, okay. I Juan? Uh, 224.79. 224.79? Okay. I did not think you were that old. <laughs> Thank I don't you. either. I guess I, I'm, I'm not. A, he doesn't I'm look not. like he's forty. Uh, honestly, 40? Yeah. I'm, I'm forty-one. Well, so I, feel, I feel older with him in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> he, yeah, but he makes us all look older. So much life there. <laughs> I'm just a big kid. Do you so, think you can believe in both, though? I guess why not? Okay, so because our okay, my pastor a long time ago said you can't believe like God is not okay with. That's another God. If you believe in horoscopes, well, I mean, and what is was what not? was what, what is the first commandment? Thou shalt not have any other God before yeah. thyself. Yeah, so God is a jealous God, the God of the Bible. Oh, so that's what you're saying. You, what you're you, saying. you can't have like pagan images and things of that nature. Well, if, that's what, but the, that, what that's I said the, was, what concept. is the first commandment? Mm-hmm. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Mm-hmm. That's where I that's where I find my caveat because I said before. Oh, so you can still believe in other things as long as you don't put it above him. Exactly. That's what he's saying. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. That's how I interpreted it. A lot of modern, uh, and for I say modern, it's probably been like this the last. I also have a reverence license. Yeah. You do. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. You learned so much about you. My my mom it's is not just about probing. Yeah, I was raised that way. Yeah, <laughs> he's a Renaissance last, man. I'm telling you. My no, yeah. because no, no, no. Man. My my parents. I was raised that way. Well, so my I, mom I is. Figured with our she's hard. You know, she's hardcore Kojic, is what we call it. Oh. Church of God in Christ. So they're like, you're in the world, you're not of the world. And right. then you take yeah. take into consideration, like my dad, on the other hand, is a chocolate Jew. Like Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, that's, so he's a Hebrew that sounds Israelite. delicious. So he's, a Hebrew, <laughs> so he's a Hebrew Israelite. You know what I'm saying? So just to keep it simple, 
my parents got divorced when I was really young. So in his household, Old Testament. In her household, New Testament. Uh-huh. So I tell people all the time, even though I'm not a practicing Christian or anything like that, um, I know that book. Right. I had I had to know that book. Yeah. That's why, I, like you said, the first commandment. I'm like, okay, yeah. You know, I had I. I know that book. Right. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and that's simply. <laughs> and it's also one of those things that I people ask me this question all the time. Well, I'm a Christian. Okay. Well, then continue to pray. Yeah, because like you know, there's I mean, I mean, we, have, know. we have Christians mm-hmm. come in there all the time. Hell, I've had Muslims come in there. There's a lot of people really? that are just yeah. like it's one way or the other. And so like ever since I've heard that, I'm like I can't I can't look at my well, horoscope every day because that's see, not and, okay. Juan can even tell you there are, are there are examples of other powers out there. They're in the Bible. Mm-hmm. They are actually in the Bible. That doesn't mean those powers went away. Mm-hmm. All right. Just because God said you can't use them, um, that doesn't mean that. Simply put, I, I don't know if this has stayed the same over the mm-hmm. last you know five thousand years. But prime example, like you know, let's go to the story of Exodus. Right. Right. Um, Moses cast his staff on the floor and it turned into a snake. What did the Pharaoh's men do after that? Well, I didn't hear what you said. What did the Pharaoh's men do after Moses cast his staff on the floor? Remind me. <laughs> I haven't been they cast much. their stake they cast their sticks on the floor and they turned into stakes mm-hmm. oh they did I yeah. don't remember and that. it's uh, it's in there oh I'm Mo- sure it is Moses' stick actually destroyed Moses' snake destroyed the Pharaoh's snakes mm-hmm. but the Pharaoh's men had the same power that Moses did when mm-hmm. he when they cast your sna- sticks on the floor it was you just, know yeah. if God was powering Moses who was powering the Pharaoh's men Bingo. Well, the devil, yeah. obviously, right? Yeah, well, or not. Yeah. You know? Or they just had that. I think, I think the devil gets a little more credit than he deserves in a lot of yeah. situations. Like, he's probably sick of being the fall guy. <laughs> <laughs> like really, I, I get credit to for that too. Little, like, dang. I'm trying to spread a little bit. Maybe, of evil maybe in you're this just world. a bad person, and maybe you just did that on your own. Like, <laughs> like the devil made them do it. No, I didn't. He, he's like, all right, man, I was watching TV. I was watching Netflix. What are y'all talking about? Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't I make bad a new time. What about you? You did that. That's um, scary. I mean, what I will say about the Bible, yeah. I will say about the Bible, um, from all the different interpretations, all the different denominations everything you can think of about that book one thing i have from all my studying over the years is that that bike that that book is about you and it's about him it's about him it's about me it's about us becoming christ jesus said all my good works you can do too heck you pretty much do it better he's it, Maybe it, even longer. It, you know, he did die thirty three. It's like an instructional <laughs> book on how to be Christ like. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's about your journey on how this this is just like a map on becoming that, becoming your greatest you. To simplify it in like today's terms and words, because we don't talk like that. We don't say thou shall. Not I, you know, right, right. drink of thy Pepsi. <laughs> I don't talk that way. Right. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Do so, so what I'm saying I is like, drink. It, we get caught up maybe in the slang of it because that's how they talked to that through the King James version, yeah, which actually it comes from Hebrew scrolls, and we don't speak Hebrew, so that's another story. But <laughs> yeah, so many things have been lost in translation yeah, over the there's, years. Yeah. There's books that we may not even have gotten from the Vatican. That's another story. But yeah, no, I think you're right. <laughs> I think it was like 300. Yeah, there's a lot of books in the Bible. We're not, so some of this stuff, we, they only gave us what they felt we needed. Yeah, and see, now so I'm, another I'm, man told you. I'm looking it up now. Yeah, but There's a little thing called the Council of Trent. The information that we do have, just off of anyone, whatever they can say to me about the Bible, is I'm saying that book's about you. It's about you understanding yourself in a spiritual manner, like you becoming Christ. God-like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Christ-like. Yeah, you know, sense. you are the yes. son of God, yes. uh, the daughter of God. You are that. So like your daughters are you. They're just the next interpretation of you two. They are you two put together. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, and the, 
the Bible was first established um, in 325. Mm-hmm. So at that point, all of the, you know, I mean, obviously all the apostles are gone. Mm-hmm. Almost, all but one of them was crucified. That's one thing to keep in mind. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, everyone knows that everyone knows that Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. Mm-hmm. But they all tend to forget that so was Paul, so was Peter, so was John. No, or was John the one that survived? The one that wrote the book of the one that wrote the book of Revelations is the only one that did not. Is the only one that actually died that of old age. Wasn't that Paul? No, no, not Paul. Okay. No, not, Paul wasn't even one of the apostles. He was just. No, I'm saying that you said that died. Yeah, no, they all well, they're, yeah, they've yeah. all died since then. Obviously, that's the <laughs> yeah. I'm saying years uh, ago. that's the person you're saying <laughs> you know? who didn't die. Um, See, like I never studied the Bible in the sense of like John the apostle. Okay, yeah, John's the one. John. Who, okay, John's the one who wrote the Book of Revelation. He's also the last one to die. Mm-hmm. He was the only one. And, I mean, he did that. He was in hiding, I think, on Cyprus inside of a cave, mm-hmm. where that he was hoping that the Roman soldiers wouldn't find him. Mm-hmm. And keeping in mind that the Romans would continue to hunt down the Christians for three hundred more years until um, until Constantine took the throne, it became the emperor of the Eastern Empire. Mm-hmm. Um, and then three twenty five A.D., the Council of Nicaea, they're the ones who put out put in the you know this book's going to go in this into the Bible here, here and here and here and here and here. And keeping in mind letters that Paul wrote, you know, like. Romans. You're making me want to go read it again. I read yeah. it. I read well, it in a long it's a time. Great story. Uh, yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I <laughs> I went to I went to Grandview University, which is a Lutheran college. Mm-hmm. And there's one thing I can say about the Lutherans: they are the first Protestants. Fuck you all. <laughs> 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 um, they were the first Protestants, um, but or they might not have been. But they certainly were the you know the biggest name out of all of them. The church probably put the rest of them down before. Mm-hmm. But uh, Martin Luther had other things going for him, like the mm-hmm. printing press. He, they couldn't stop his message from getting out because it was he was printing it up, printing it up too quickly, mm-hmm. you know. Other, but yeah, no, current, you know, First and Second Corinthians, you know, Romans, um, Galatians. Those are all letters that Paul wrote to the underground Christians at the time, you know, and. You know, eventually Paul met his end. Was he was stupid enough to go to Rome? <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, he went to Rome, and that's nah, where he smart ended. Move. Oh, that, they they caught him, and so and at the time, more than, from what I understand, the Romans actually thought the Christians, because of the uh, holy sacraments, right? You know, partaking of the blood and you know the blood and flesh of Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, they're cannibals! <laughs> 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 yeah. It, Tastes like so, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, as you can tell, I've done some research on this. I've learned sure. a little bit about it. Um, and, yeah, the question, I mean, I've gone back and forth on this when I can't mm-hmm. not believe in God. It's how I was raised. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I know what the church, I know what the modern church does. It is not what people in my community think it does. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't even really truly consider myself a pagan, but I know a lot of people in the pagan community that really believe that the Christian mm-hmm. church is just out there to suppress everybody. And the Christian church has not had that ability for, God, 500 years. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's yeah. the Christian church has not been able to suppress anybody for 500 years now. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. Well, I mean... I, I wasn't... I was actually going to go back to her question let's go back to her question so <laughs> your question was basically can you be oh, can you believe in both both um so like for example um my mother and my father have asked me and my brother my brother that studies metaphysics with mm-hmm. me they asked me at different times my mother asked so he's like you're not a christian anymore She's like, why are you not a Christian anymore? She asked me personally. My dad asked me and my brother. And I was like, of course, I'm a Christian. And she goes, really? Well, you don't act like anymore. And I was like, (laughs) fair enough. I'm like, mom, I'm a Christian. Don't worry. So the definition of a Christian basically is somebody who believes in God. What? But Mm -hmm. here's the thing that sort of. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what is- <laughs> Christ. Okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but I will say this. Like, 
like and my father asked the same thing he's like you're not a you're not an israelite you know as well and me and my brother are like yeah yeah so the the another person would be like well how could you be both well my mindset is like this it's like it's more like school for me so it's like when i say like have you did you graduate the third grade yeah okay did you <laughs> so you i did so knowing that are you a third grader i mean were you you once were yeah, I probably. You, but you're no longer. Now. You, you've you've gone beyond that. <laughs> yeah. Not the way but you, but you, math. you have <laughs> experienced the third grade experience. Yeah, so yeah. like, when I look at my mother and the way she practices, I'm only talking exclusively about her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that is like to me regurgitating my ABCs over again. She can only go as high as that book would allow her to go. She's not allowed to expand because of. Thou shalt not be another guy before thyself. So she takes that in a literal sense to the sense of like, I can't expand my knowledge beyond this book. Right. Whereas I'm like, I've done that. Then I studied Buddhism. Then I studied Islam. Then I studied metaphysics. Then I started studying all these other, other things. So it's like, I, it's like me doing third. It's like, to me, it's like, oh, I did that class. I graduated that. So it's not like I can't be an un, I cannot be a Christian again. I, I, I yeah, I got, I got, I got the certificate in my mind. It just like you're I, not an active. I, I, I just, it, it makes no sense in my mind to go back to third grade. I, I get it. You right. know what I'm saying? Like I get the concepts. Like you've taken of, in more knowledge. I, I, I get, I get how that works. You get what I'm saying? Like, like knowledge to me has to grow. If you're if, 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 true knowledge is you're hearing something you haven't heard before, so there's a good chance today you guys have ex, have actually consumed some knowledge, whether oh, you accept yeah. it or not. It's not about acceptance. <laughs> You've heard some things mm -hmm. that you didn't know existed. That's right. true knowledge right. because it's a, now if you're going to a place of praise and you're hearing things that are not expanding your knowledge then we have an interesting deal. How can you expand? How can you grow? That, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's your, your time. No, you're fine. It's simply, <laughs> I understand what you're saying. And yeah, I mean, even I, yeah, I grew up going to church and hell, I, I still love Christmas. All right. <laughs> it's a good I, time. Yeah. It is. It's my favorite time of year. I get it. It's what it is today. It's a Christian holiday. I mean, mm. it, it is Christ mass. Okay. Mm. I get that. That doesn't diminish my ability to enjoy it, but I have also I have also studied Buddhism. Um, it's I know Buddhism is not for me. It's mm -hmm. to me it's too nihilistic. Right. I still respect it, mm -hmm. but I mean it. If there's if there's anything you could base the Matrix off of, I'd base it off of Buddhism. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, the Ultimate. first one's kind of a Christ story. He dies. He's re re resurrected. Uh, right. And then the third one made no sense at all. The third yeah. one. <laughs> they're making a fourth one. Oh Another story. crap! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> let, 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 just leave it alone. Y'all disappointed us once. <laughs> so. No kidding. Uh, yeah. Um, but then, I mean, I've also studied Shinto. I'm still studying Shinto at this time, all right? Mm -hmm. um, I've also studied a little bit of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. Like, there, the Hindu, there's a Hindu temple right up here, right up the road here in Madrid, Iowa, all right? Yeah, right. I messed, I messed, I've, I've studied some Hindu. <laughs> Your dad helped build my, that. My roommate is, <laughs> is Indian, for whatever that's worth, and we have a lot of those symbols around his house, our house because his mother... Like right. a lot of different things. So that's actually yeah, that, that's, a, like a joke with me and my wife. Uh, we used to travel to Madrid to my, see my dad, and I had always point to that and say, "My dad helped uh, build some of that." See, I, I, yeah, I, I was under the imp I was under the impression they actually brought people over from India to help build that, because there are there is a caste in India specifically specifically directed to build and maintain holy sites mm -hmm. mm. and a temple is considered a holy site right. and they have temple builders specifically mm -hmm. that's what i was told they actually brought people over from india to and i've i've actually been in there to hear to iowa for the yeah for this yeah okay no they believe it or not there's hindu temples all over the country 
I don't know if there's more. I, I didn't know, know there was any in Iowa. Yeah, it's, or it's even it's in Des Moines. In but it's not. It's not in Des Moines. It's in Madrid. Yeah, it's on, <laughs> it's on the other side of uh, Granger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, you cross. It you sticks get, out a little bit. I haven't you been around there lately. You, yeah, you basically you. <laughs> You're like, go, oh. You take the exit towards Granger. Okay. Yeah. You go through Granger, and then as soon as you cross the Des Moines River, right you get past that first line of trees. It's right there, big white temple yep. sticking out in the mo. You know, it's amazing. And then there's a cornfield right next to it. I'm yeah. wondering if the people in the temple live in that house right next to it. <laughs> there's always a lot of cars parked outside of it. You know. Mm. Um, but yeah, and it's beautiful. It? It's beautiful inside of there. I bet. So like I actually went in there couple of months ago and you know mm -hmm. i just went through there you know paid my respects to all the by the way if, if you're to pay respects to every deity they've got housed in there you'd probably be there for a while yeah if simply they put got it, a huge pantheon yeah they do massive and <laughs> simply if you were to stop and pray to each one for like a minute you'd probably be in there for a good hour yeah i stood with the <laughs> ones that, that talked to me like I, ganesha and right and you know yeah lakshmi no. and something like that yeah so and i don't remember seeing lakshmi and i i know she's in there i she's gotta be shiva yeah. of course yeah no yeah and i yeah shiva parvati mm -hmm. um you know you i mean you won't I did not find Kali, but I know the reason for that. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I actually. Kali's kind of. No, no. Actually, she is in there. Mm -hmm. She is actually in there. If you don't know which one you're looking, if you don't know who Kali actually is, then you're going to walk right by her every damn time. Because mm -hmm. Kali is just another form of Parvati. Mm hmm. <laughs> Kali, Kali, yeah, Kali is a. Do, do you know which one? Who Kali I is? I have no idea. What she's you guys got are like talking multiple about. hands. Most and, of them do. And then she's got a tongue. And she, you know, Kali. I in, have a tongue and yeah, well, no, hands. Uh, like, well, like Kali she's got has like, like six like a arms. So with hands, arms. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's like, got like six arms. Right. Well, these are entities. And here's that. Yeah, they're, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're God, in, uh, gods and gods. Hindu, Hindu, is a Hindu, uh, belief system. Yeah. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Well, yeah. Gotcha. And Kali, believe it or not, in the uh, if you look at pictures of her online, um, Kali's name from Hindu literally translates to black. Mm -hmm. And so, hmm. and she is basically the pissed off version of Parvati. <laughs> yeah, she's so she's, basically when when, happy, when Krishna came home after many many years, I mean his son Ganesh was born after Krishna left, and so Ganesh was guarding the home, and Krishna walked up and Ganesh is like, whoa whoa whoa, who are you? And Krishna's like, I don't have time for you out of my way, <laughs> and and then so Ganesh challenged him again, He's like, no, who are you? Why are you here? And then Krishna lops off his head. <laughs> and then goes and then goes to the house and then you know oh wow yeah and then crazy Parvati bas basically party animal you know he's like Parvati I'm home and he's like oh hey Ganesh your father's home who's Ganesh <laughs> uh, um, Ganesh is our son he was he was working over there oh my Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, you know, it's like whoa, well, I mean, somebody challenged me on the way up here. Why? <laughs> you know? Oh no! <laughs> and it's like oh. you killed her son. That's our son. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. And so, well, you better fix this. <laughs> and so he goes out into the woods and he finds an elephant, plops off the head of the elephant, and it's puts it on Ganesh's head, yeah, or right. puts it puts the elephant head on Ganesh's body, and so that's why Ganesh now looks like an elephant, wow. because Krishna didn't stop to explain himself. Oh. <laughs> you know? Whoops! Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, real, I've done some studying, as I've mentioned before. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, this has been really fascinating. Yeah, we could go this, on and go on. We of really could, and I unfortunately I do have to get going. Yes. Yeah, they're doing yes. a. Yes. Q and A and stuff down there right now. Yes, so, so yeah, we better let you get, get going. But, right. Yeah, don't be a stranger uh, if you ever want to come on sometime with us. Let, yeah, know. just ask. I'll come on. I'll okay. make the time. Love to have you back. I gave you a card. Do you have it still, or do you need a card? I get. You know what? I'll take another one. I got lots of them. So I'd be more than happy to bring my wife on here too. What does she do with the shop exactly? She owns it. 
Okay. And then she I mean, stays home. She, and, she stays home and be the mother or child. Does she, do, <laughs> does she do the same kind of stuff that you do though? Like, was she no. the young lady I met when I came in? No, that is that is Antoinette. Okay, Antoinette. That's her name. Yeah. She also does stuff like this okay. as well. Okay. okay. But yeah, no, you just if yeah, simply put, uh, Des Moines New Edge dot com is our website. Des Moines New Edge Shop at sixty three zero seven Hickman Road in Des Moines. It looks Fine. like a spaceship, right? Yep, blue spaceship building. <laughs> nice. Yeah, <that's laughs> oh yeah. Well, so, thank you so much. This yeah, is thank great. You. This is yeah, great. no, this is I I yeah, I can have conversations like this all day <laughs> yeah. long. We didn't even break into the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Very thank you. Much. We'll see you downstairs. You were saying uh,